The following is a demonstration of Reed Manufacturing's RC42 Rotary Cutter. Place the upper yoke half, the one with the finger guides, on the top of the pipe. Be sure the round grooves in the lugs are facing away from the direction of rotation. Align the wheels over the desired cutting line. Attach the lower yoke to the upper yoke one side at a time by sliding the main screws into the slots and seating the nuts into the counter bores. Next, without disturbing the cutter position, tighten up the main screw nuts equally by hand. Usually the two bottom wheels will contact the pipe first. Continue tightening as the spring-loaded guide fingers retract and permit the top wheels to contact the pipe. Place the saddle on the side of the cutter where the pipe is to remain. Rest the teeth of the saddle against the pipe and the torque arm against the ground at an angle. Adjust the location of the saddle so it is 3 and an eighth inches or 79 millimeters from the center of the cut to the edge of the saddle. Be sure that all four teeth of the saddle are contacting the pipe for proper alignment. Wrap the chain around the pipe and pull tight. Hook the closest chain link into the chain catch on the opposite end of the saddle. Fully tighten the chain screw with the provided wrench. Connect the ratchet handle to the triangular saddle by inserting the lower steel pin on the end of the handle into the hole in the saddle. Connect the red latch used to hook around the lugs to the ratchet handle pin. Secure the handle with the washer and cotter pin provided. Check to see if the latch is centered over the cutter. Lift the handle until the latch slides up over one of the lugs, then pull down on the handle to rotate the cutter. After each half rotation, tighten one of the black nuts on the cutter with the provided wrench, alternating between each nut. Tighten the nuts as tight as possible each time. It may be advisable to have two workers. One person tightens the nut while the other person rotates the cutter. <laughs>